UNH gymnastics team kicked off its season with a second place finish out of four schools at Penn State, followed by two wins in two meets at Lundholm Gym. Sophomore Megan Flieger led the way in all three meets. At Penn State, she earned a second place finish on vault and a share of third on balance beam. In a home meet against Yale, Flieger placed first on balance beam, floor exercise, and all around, earning Eagle Gymnast of the Week honors. Senior forward Grayson Downing of the men's hockey team scored six goals in six games during the month of January. Wodorowski moves it off to Willows. Willows has Downing in front and scores! Grayson Downing all alone with 39 and a half seconds left to tie it! Downing had a pair of two goal performances and wins against both 14th ranked Providence and UMass. Here's Downing, he takes one away, walks in and he scores! Grayson Downing, his second of the period. And the empty net goal gives the Wildcats a 5-2 lead. The women's hockey team compiled a three-game winning streak, sweeping a two-game series at UConn, then winning the first game of a weekend set with Penn State. Jensen, all by herself, skating along the right hash marks, finds a little bit of daylight in on the post, and the Wildcats go up one to nothing over the Nittany Lions. Forwards Jonna Curtis and Amy Boucher both scored twice in the three-game stretch, while goaltender Vilma Vadovara stopped all but three shots over the three-game span. The men's and women's ski teams traveled to Bates and Vermont to start their carnival season. Senior Nordic co-captain Annika Taylor earned a pair of second-place finishes at the Bates Carnival January 17th, and then two first-place finishes at the Vermont Carnival the following week. Her effort gave the team a third-place finish. The women's swimming and diving team competed in a pair of meets, returning to action after winter break. Freshman Jessica Harper continued her stellar freshman year with first place results in both the 1,000-yard freestyle and the 100-yard butterfly in a home meet against Rutgers on January 24th. The men's and women's indoor track and field teams began their season in January. Junior Damal McFadden won the 200-meter dash and the 55-meter hurdles to help his squad to victory in a home meet against Holy Cross on January 17th. On the women's side, it was Danielle Gachewski placing second in the 500-meter run at the Joe Donahue Games in Boston on January 23rd. The men's basketball team brought success with them into the new year. Led by freshman standout Tanner Leisner, the Wildcats are primed to make a run come America East tournament time. Leisner leads the Wildcats in scoring and rebounding. Gets it down low to uh, Leisner. Leisner lays it up. Good! With the shot ball over. Wildcats prevailed in two overtime thrillers against Binghamton and UMass Lowell and knocked off Vermont, which had been undefeated in conference play. On the women's side, the Wildcats have their sights set on the top seed in the America East and either first 20 win season since 1984. Junior guard Elizabeth Belanger leads the team with over 14 points per game. Anderson brings it back right to left, finds the cutter. That's Belanger going back door left side. Elizabeth Belanger. Freshman Carly Poe has also been an integral part of the Wildcat offense, recording three double doubles in conference play. Simpson pulls up, doesn't shoot, comes to Poe in the paint. Poe reverses to the right, puts it in over Boucher. 